Hello and welcome to my home. So in today's chat, sit, chat and craft, I'm going to start with a little um, show and tell or haul. So I work at a Salvation Army and I only take things out of the um, trash that they're actually getting rid of. So this, this was already in the trash, so it's a Needlecraft magazine from April 1926. And it's got beautiful images that I can use. It's very ragged, so the paper's not, not too bad. I'll be able to use it, but it's got lovely things in it that I can I can use in junk journaling. I love these ladies over here. They're really nice. So that was the first thing I hauled out of the trash. Oh, and then there is this Italian, or this needlework one from June 1931. Isn't she beautiful? She's quite large, but very beautiful. And again, advertisements, pictures, pieces of lace you could put on a corner. So I'll enjoy working with that. We won't advertise cigarettes, but... And then there was this tale of Tom the Kitten that was... Um, I'm not sure why it ended up in there, but I can use the images in that. And there were two Where Are Waldo, and these will go in Happy Mail to my nephew to play with. There was this sign, uh, this is a Nancy Drew. It's been drawn on, so some of the pages I can use, but I thought that the cover was a nice size to use for a journal. So I'll use the cover of this and some of the pages. I say some, but you know, even the ones that are drawn on. That's nice paper. I can use those for pockets. And then there were these two uh, little golden books and I just like the size of them. And they're a nice little story to make junk journals out of. And they were again headed towards the headed towards the dump. So there was this Christmas recipe So I thought I could use some of those in the Christmas tag journals that I make. And then there was this, um, oh sorry, the Bible Story Library. And it's, just, again, I like the cover. Um, and the paper is really nice. And some of the images I can use in a prayer journal. And then there was more of these needlework books. So these you can use, cut the doilies up and use them in journals. I might even use a few of the patterns. But you know, like cutting that up and putting that on a, um, on a binding or whatever, that would be nice. And this is, was 10 cents. Does it have a copyright? 1917. And again, I can take these doilies and um, use them, cut them out and use them in journals, fussy cut them out. Edging. This one didn't have as much in it, but I, I nabbed it anyway. It was from 1951, so it's a newer one. And here's an edging book again. It's in black and white, but you can still use those for in your journals. So that's nice. And this one here, which is, where's the year on this one? 1949. So it has, um, I might actually make some of these. I like those. Oh, look at this. Isn't that nice? Covering up jars. So cutting these out and using these in um, junk journals. So those will be reused. And my girlfriend Darlene entered her and I, our, myself in a um, contest that um, by, um, oh here, let me get, I don't want to show my, her. it was from the Book Art Studios in Auckland, New Zealand. 
And what she did is she gave us um, bits and bobs of the um, throwaway papers that she's not used. And um, those will come in handy to use in um, on tags or just anything. There's beautiful paper. Thank you, Darlene. So we'll get back to some crafting. Hello and welcome to the crafting portion of our time together. So here's the journal that I talked about in the last one. And if I tied it shut, it would have shown better. So here is the first side. It opens like this. There's a pocket here. It opens like this. There's a pocket here, a pocket here, a pocket here. Those two open. A pocket here, a pocket here. Scrap paper to write with or to add to the journal. And this is a writing board. So this lifts up like this. And then there are pages in here for keeping notes. It closes like that and then this becomes a large pocket for holding um, really uh, the TN journals pages. Here's one of the pages of the journal not put together. We'll decorate this together. But that will fit right in there so that if they wanted to put a different page in there they could do that. So that go on the side. So that's the first flip front flip and I've started working on the back flip and what I've done is I've created the um, so there's the back that page I'm hoping that this will be another pocket as is here that flips up like this and we'll have um, a journal page there made from cards and this will be a pocket here. And on this side, I thought that I would put um, one, two, three, four, five pockets. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna put them here and make it this way, and then make this a writing board. That's probably what I'm going to do. So, let's start building our pockets. Now, I've seen a number of people do this, so I'm not taking credit for it. Um, I need a pencil. And I'm just going to mark how far down I'm going to add paper. So that's one, two, three, four. And then this one is to here. So that's one, two, three, four again. And this one would be one, two, three. That would be to here. So that is four, four, three. And then this one is two and a half. I'm going to add the paper before I um, put it in the book. Because I may want to sew around it. And of course I have lost my, well I'll just use one of these then. So what I'm going to do is crease this. So this is the back one. So it's I want to I want to strengthen this back piece, and I think to do that I will use some plastic. So this file folder is too narrow. So I need to use this. And that is one, two, three, four, and a bit. All right. I'll just go ahead and get my And 
and I need it to be five and a half inches long. to shave just ever so slightly off this. Let's see if it fits. Yes, it does. Wonderful. So it is extremely hot in Ontario right now. And it's hot in the Midwest. I know that too. So my craft room is unbelievably warm. Come on, glue. Let's not do this today. That's way too much glue, I know. But I gotta clean this out. Hopefully that works. I hate when it gets all messy like this, but if you don't clean it every time you use it, that's what happens, isn't it? So set that aside. So I'm gonna put this inside here. And I'm not going to push down until I get it all the way to where I want it. Whoops. And of course I glued the side that had the writing on it, but that's all right. Okay, so let's push that down. And we'll take a pair of scissors. Oops, there's my scissors. And we'll just trim this up a bit. So last weekend was the, well, we decided to try, determine whether or not we could camp. Oh, you know something? I did the wrong one. Oh, so smart. Well, okay, so I need to do another one. So, all right, there's that one. And this one needs to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I do find it hard to craft and talk at the same time. <laughs> Where'd you go? So we went to my husband's brother's place and I was able to hook the trailer up. No problem. I um, have never had any problem driving the tra our, our little trailer. And um, had a wonderful time camping. We determined the best way for my husband to sleep, given the fact that he um, still has some balance issues. That worked out well. We had a great time visiting with family, social distancing. Ontario has just opened up. We also, Paul and I, have also had our second vaccine, vaccines. And then we drove home. And I literally made seven passes at our driveway and gave up. So seven times I drove around the block trying to back this trailer into our driveway and seven times I failed until our neighbor came over and asked me if he wanted, if I wanted him to park our trailer. And I said, yes, please. And he just 
pulled it forward and maybe got it 90% of the way in, pulled out a little bit and got it the rest of the way in without a problem. He then later tells me he has his AZ license and um, taught truck driving. So he is going to take me out some cooler weekend so that I'm not anxious and he is going to teach me how to back my trailer up. I know the tips, I've watched all the YouTube videos, they just do not make sense in my brain. It's just the long and short of it. So then two, I need to cut the top off that one. Just does not make sense. I, 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 I watch the video, I think I know what I'm doing, hands at the bottom of the steering wheel, turn the steering wheel in the direction you want your trailer to go, and I still don't go where I want to go. So, I need to take the top off that one. So he'll take me out and he says by the time we're done I'll be driving circles. We'll see. He might be driving circles. So that was nice. It, it was nice to do something. It's been a year and a long time since Paul and I did any traveling and it's something that we truly enjoyed doing. So, so this one's going to be two and a half. Now do you think I need to put some cardboard in there? So I've got cardboard in this one, cardboard in that one. I could, you know, I might as well keep them the same. So how is everyone doing? How many people, how many of you are having to deal with this extreme heat? I hope it's not what's going to come all summer. My hollyhocks are just about done. And that is an August plant. We're not going to have... We're not going to have any flowers because they're all going to have already bloomed. Yeah. So. Oh, the other thing that was interesting is that um, my brother-in-law's internet didn't reach to where the trailer was parked which is fine um, but it was kind of nice not being not having the internet in so much as I got to just relax because there was nothing else to do and I journaled which is something I haven't done in a very long time so that was nice it was very nice all right, and now I just need a little piece. I wonder if I just put that in there. That would work, you know. Just to strengthen where they put the tags in. All right. Still waiting for someone to tell me where I get these, the nice tags, the nice um, poppers. One of the uh, ladies on Junk Journals Canada, I put a package together for her today uh, with whale tail tabs that I cut out out of just um, file folder. So Pam, those will go in the mail for you tom tomorrow, which is nice. It's nice to be able to give back a little bit of happy mail. And what, it took me all of 15 minutes to make the little book that I sent it in. And All right, so I think I'm going to use this paper. So I have to cut two and a half by... Two and a half by four and a bit. And 
these papers are again uh, from Studio 28 E. Uh, 28E, they're the um, Fairy Day Book papers. Okay, so I think what I need to do is I need to use my vintage photo and go all the way around this. I'm going to cut the holes. I'm going to make the semicircles, but I'm my plan is to do them as close to the same time as possible so that they all line up. But as you all know, the best laid plans of mice and men and women and crafters I saw on uh, Facebook today a t-shirt that said, I'm not a yarn hoarder, I just crochet slowly. I thought that was good. That could be me. Okay, so that's done. All right, so now, with that out of the way, I said two and a half. Now what I want to be careful of is that this is the point at which I always sew things too soon. Not sew. I glue them together too soon and it means that I don't have... Alright, so I need to take a little bit of a quarter inch off this. I took too much. Okay, let's do this again. All right. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to last in this box. It's so warm. Now I don't want, um, because I'm not using cardstock, I think I'm going to put it edge to edge. Alright, so that's done. And of course, watch that pin so I don't lose it. Wet dripping down my nose. Oh my goodness. We may not have a long crafting time together. I'm just going to leave that. Right, so. I could make this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pockets. Is that, old, is that too much? Can you ever have too many pockets? I think not. 
So if I were to put that there, and that there, then it's not a miscut. Then it's good. Okay. So let's do this one here. There's the opening. Trying to think what else happened this week. Trying not to get my head in the way too much. Last week, I mean, we got our shots, our vaccines, our second shots, which were nice. We went camping. This heat is just almost too, too much. It's unbearable. Okay, so I'm going to continue with that paper. It's not quite meeting on the edges, but that's what lace is for, isn't it? Once again, I'm using my iPad to videotape with you today. I said I was going to make that longer, but I really only need to put it at the top like that, so I think I'm just going to glue this piece down. Why make life complicated? Or more complicated than it already is. that just wasn't big enough and I think this is the side that I'm going to put my pocket on so that's where I'll have my lace. Alright so those three I want to sew here, here, here and here but I do need to cut. Now do I want to it won't go through all of those let me just get my my little punch.
and of course it's not gonna punch. Okay, so let's open it up. Too thick. All right, so that one's out. Does anybody know how to sharpen these suckers? Hmm. Wonder if that's too wet still that it's not doing it coming out. Who knows? Alright, and one more. Okay, is there a trick that I'm not getting with this? At least it leaves a mark that I can follow. Oops, I don't like that at all. All right, so now we've got Three inside pockets. I will sew these down and then get a book out here. So this is our flip and this, so this is going to go in here on this page and I need to decide what I'm going to use as background paper. So wait a minute, let's move that down. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, sew this around and I will get back to you. Hello and welcome back. Well, since I left you, which was yesterday, I got a phone call from my girlfriend and I sat it and did some crafting with her, not with her, but while I chat, had a video chat with her. So um, I'm gonna pick up there, show you what we did and, and um, pick up from there. So we're working on this piece. And I'm actually glad that I stopped because in, I'd forgotten that I wanted this to go this way and flip up this way. So we're going to start with this. So this is where I left. So when I left you, we had done this piece. I've added black paper in behind these and I've added lace. Now, here is the problem that I realized. You don't want as many pockets as I put here because um, it's just... Well, let me just get some ephemera from the kit. I guess you can put them in there, but I, you can't sew across here, which is what I wanted to do. So next, next time I do this, I won't make as many pockets, but they're there and I'll use them. So that is going to get placed right there. And what I want it to do is have the lace show out just a little bit so that will dictate where it gets sewn in here which I don't like that there what about there I may add a second lace I don't know anyway so let's decorate this piece first so what I would like to do is um, these are pieces so this this piece here is a pocket from the kit that I've, I've ripped apart and I thought I would put it there with a, p 
piece of lace behind it. I should ink this so that I know what it looks like. It makes such a difference when you ink. Papers that seem to sort of fit into the back um, stand out a bit more. So if that's there, well, uh, where did my lace go? Is it on the floor? No. Underneath there? No. Of course I've lost my lace. looking for that. Maybe it's just not my day to uh, craft, but I want to finish this piece up at least for us since I started it with you. I wonder if it's, oh, there it is. It's stuck behind this thing. So note to self, do not put this on the piece I'm working on. Inspired, and then the lace, this is the right side up, will go in there. Yep, I like that. All right, so I'm going to use my fabric lace. I'm using high talk fabric lace. And I'm going to, once again, use my... These are old, um, they came in the thrift store. They um, used to be able to buy erasable pens and this was a notepad that came in. And uh, somebody had used, probably a child, a piece of permanent marker on them. So um, it wouldn't erase, but it works perfect for me and what I'm looking to do with it. Where's my cloth, my dry wipe. And I'm going to continue to use the um, fabric because I want it to stick to that um, lace. I don't want it to come undone. I'm going to put it down so that you can still see the stitching. that's important. Make sure that's stuck well down. All right. It is. I want to see that bird, so I'm going to put that on an angle. Continuing to use the fabric. I want to see this bird and that rose, so I'm going to put it there. Happy Mail came today and my girlfriend took from Took's craft table. She uh, sent me a slow stitching swatch and it is gorgeous, just gorgeous. She's such a talented crafter. All right, so I think that's that one done. Now the next one, I had thought that I would use some music paper that's part of the kit. This little fairy, tuck the music paper under the fairy, and in keeping with the um, words, I would use inspire. Create. I'll show you the other words that I picked out. Magic and hmm, maybe amazing. We'll see. All right, so I think I've got the next one. So I'm going to try and stagger 
focal point, focal point, focal point, and then something at the top just to frame it up. Like that a little bit. So we got up this morning and it's still stifling hot. But I have the fan going in here so it's a little better. And then um, we um, went out to the barn for our granddaughter. She rides and until she's 18, they you have to have an adult there. So for the summer she's helping um, exercise the horses and she's doing some barn chores while the um, owner is away. Now do I want some lace on that as well? Or do I have enough? Well, I don't mind that lace coming all the way across. All right, pair of scissors. And I cut it straight. And you don't ever want to cut it straight because, of course, nothing is straight in junk journaling. All right, so I'm going to lay that down. Oops, wrong glue. Wrong glue. So we took her to the barn um, because it continues to be hot and humid. My husband is having problems. He has normal pressure hydrocephalus. And he is having problems with the pressure and the heat. So he didn't walk very much and ended up having the air conditioning on in the car while she was riding, which is fine, totally fine. And then um, she, uh, somewhere in here, I have, there it is, my roller. She, um, he was reading, which is nice. I want to put this down first. And again, because I'm using the lace and I want it to stick, I'm going to use the better glue. She had a nice ride, but it was hot. And um, then... He came home and I dropped him off and I went to with Sally Ann to do my second day of volunteering. I like to do three days a week for three hours. And when I arrived, well, there were just too many people there. It was like all of a sudden there was no COVID. Well, we still have COVID here. In fact, we have too much COVID in our most most vulnerable populations, that being the homeless, mentally ill, and those with addictions issues. So, but for the rest of us who have vaccinated and less fearful, it appeared like everybody was just out doing their thing. So I, um, let her know that I had arrived, but that I wasn't going to um, stay and um, headed out. And she told me that there were um, some things came in that day. And one of them was this, this punch, which is totally amazing. See, I got this from the thrift store and it makes one of those. And um, a cutter and another oh this this punch here which is a one and three eighths punch so that's nice from stampin up so that was it was nice i went i'm glad i went in that's for sure um but i left right away because i wasn't going to um stay with that level of um with that many people there just too much just too much. So the next one, I want to use the word magic. 
and I've got um, magic and what will I put behind it? Can I stick this one in? Does it need anything else or is that just enough? I like these blank ones where you can pick what words you want on it. That might be enough. Let me just finish this off. I want to use this last piece of music paper that comes with the fairy day book up there like that. And what can I finish? Stick her in like that. Maybe she needs some words. I'm going to go into my lace drawer here and pull it out and see if there's some more lace sitting in there that I can use. There, that's that. It's coffee dyed, so I'll use that. All right. Slowly but surely, my craft room is coming together for me. For me, it's about not hoarding everything and about actually putting into play some of the ideas that I have. I was watching um, Rachel in Italy today and she was talking about how she was having trouble crafting because she was so hot and boy do I get that. Okay, I think that, does it need that? I think I'm just going to leave that there. Yeah, put the pillow on this side. And she was saying how hot it is in Italy. I can't believe how hot it is in Canada. We're not supposed to be this hot out west, like it was in, in the 40s, like where does that come from? Global warming? I don't know. So my hostesses today are all out in bloom and will be done blooming in the next little while. And that never happens because, of course, hostess are in August, late summer flower. That's too much for them. Too much, too much, too much. So I'll tuck that underneath there so I don't have it poking out. And I probably need to put something in there so it doesn't stick. So I'm going to take and let that dry for a minute that over there and set that off to the side and we'll continue go back to this for a minute so what I did was um, is I am this is going to be the pocket here and it flips up that way so I've added black paper to this piece and I added this belly band once it's all, I just lightly glued it in so I know it's there. Uh, once it's once I'm done decorating the page, I will um, 
sew that all around as that's going to get actually I probably won't sew it on its own because that's going to get placed in here like this and I will sew down here. Now I'm going to add a piece of fabric to strengthen this. I've got one on this side, but put some maybe some lace down the center of that. Yeah, just to help out. But I won't sew this until I get that done. But I do want to have a divot here so that you know that it's going be a pocket so that is one two three four five six seven eight and a quarter so that would mean one two three four put it up there a bit so now let's see if I can get any of my punches oh my new punch I should try my new punch where to get this all right look at I There it is. Too many spots to put things. Did anybody else lose their stuff mid-crafting? Like, who does that? Well, this is nice. It's got a line that says where the center is. Okay. So let's see if the stamping up one... Whoops. Not want to go deeper. I need to get used to it. Okay, that worked well. All right, so, oh, and I'll show you this. I finished this last night, too. This is from Roxy Creation. Um, I made, this is the second uh, rag bag I have for holding my crafting stuff. So, where are we going to go with this? So, I had thought this would be nice there, and then I wondered about sticking some lace behind it. It um, tore when I was working with it, which wasn't nice, but my own fault. I wonder if I want to put a bit more lace in it. mind that. I have a box here with all of the bits and pieces from the, from the kit in it. I don't mind that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to distress this. And then I'm going to cut, recut that out once I get this all dried up, dried out. The glue has dried, dried out really nice. Okay. Put that there. I need to um, go back to this kit and look at some of the. I need to pull out some more um, pages so that I can rip them apart for collage. It's going to be empty up there. Does that mean that's going to be all right? All right, so let's lay this down then. So I can use my regular glue since I don't have lace there. And then we will be done with this craft along. I'm going to continue to work on this book and um, hopefully. We'll have one more craft along before 
time. I'm in a position to um, do a flip through. So there's just that little corner there that I can pull out later. Am I in frame? Yeah, I need to move my little book there. Just a bit more room. To make sure it's still on because I am using my iPad. Yep, it's still on. All right, so that's in there. I'm gonna use this. And as always, I will um, post um, on the video the finished products when they're all sewn in so that you can enjoy them. There, that's what I want. And then I'll go back and finish that other one and we're done. Well, I like that. And I could, I might add a word at the top later, but for now that's good. So that goes in here like that. I'll add a piece of paper behind this. Where am I exactly? There it is. So I'll add a piece of paper behind that. And then we'll go back to this one, which is going to sit right there. Now that that's done, and done and dusted. so there we go we have a pocket here pocket here pocket here and here plus we've got pockets there there and there and I'm going to make this I decided a side tuck for a writing board and this is a belly band one here and we are done for today so thank you very much for coming along and crafting with me.